if we look on our $20 bill, you see Gabriel Roy's quote that say, could we ever know each other in the slightest without the arts? You have to look really, really closely, though, to see it. But it's there. When you're looking at the world, you see everything as it is. But then when you see a painting, the artist has kind of turned the world into something a little bit more than just the actual scene was. So art's a way to improve on the real world. To me, to be able to do that is, uh, it, it just makes my day better. And I think it also makes your world a little bigger. It develops a world awareness. You appreciate um, not only your own culture, but, but other cultures. Often I am alone in the traveling, so I, I need to communicate, so I communicate with all the nature. And sometimes I am in other countries where I can't speak the language. So dancing all the time in my life was the way to communicate with people. And the youth in town here in Jasper are making a huge impact for the community. It's, it's making a huge recognition for what the youth can do in our community. Kids learn through imitation. And so if we live the arts, they will, they will come up with it as, as well. They are naturally creative. And uh, if we keep that alive for them, uh, they'll be happier adults for it. The presence of music, the presence of arts and culture in a community is, you know, it has community-wide effects. It, it adds tremendous value to a community to have a rich arts, cultural, music scene. People who aren't artists, they, they enjoy it, you know. They, they want to enjoy the same things that we experience and as any type of artist, we're just expressing it. Jasper is one of the most creative places I've ever lived. The people that I get to work with, the people that I can see on a daily basis, and everybody collaborating, whether it be visual art, music, writing, photography, there are so many creative people in this town. I never thought I'd be a leader in theatre. I never thought I would be directing theatre. So for me, I think it's been the people who, uh, the people who I've introduced to theatre. That's what I love. I love sharing it. I love. Um, showing people what they're missing. So you've got all kinds of people doing all kinds of different things um, when it comes to, uh, to uh, visual arts, painting and stuff like that. You've got so many different styles of, uh, of artists. Um, it's, uh, it's incredible, especially for such a small place. Jasper's not a huge town, but we do have a very active community, um, as is evident by all those people that are here tonight. The quality of your life is really important and that I think it gives so much to the to the art community here and the community gives back and it's just a beautiful sort of organic kind of back and forth all the time. A wonderful, uh, wonderful diverse um, group of citizens who contribute a lot to making the community what it is and all of these wonderful things here, all of these extras that uh, most residents in small towns don't get to enjoy. On its own, life sucks. You work, you come home, you do your dishes, you clean your floor, you go to bed. A lot of people do that and they hate their lives. I'm the same person, I still do those things. I wash my floor, I do my dishes, but while I'm doing it, I'm singing songs and I'm writing poetry in my mind the whole time. And there's something inside of us what makes us want to do things like that. And I think we need that um, as individuals. Um, like I say, I think it, the world would be a sorrier place without any arts or culture. Where I grew up in Quebec, uh, we are quite creative people. I've always tried to follow uh, artistic communities and that's why I end up in Jasper. We all seem to have a, an innate feeling within us to express ourselves somehow. You can make anything beautiful if you look at the right spot is uh, I'm more aware now of, of the little things. I think a world without art would be the scariest place to live. I don't know what my life would be like without art and my dance. It's just it's so opening and it it lets everybody be who they are without judging. It's a great thing. I think not coming from a city and coming from a small town in Jasper in a way has maybe humbled me. I don't see this as like a competition. I'm doing this because I love it. And if it doesn't work out, yeah, it would suck. It's what I love to do, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to continue to do it on the side. I'm, not, I'm always going to be doing this. 
I have a deep love for for music period but the poetry of the music most of the songs I play I wish I'd written myself and uh, there's such a, a, a wealth of, uh, of I always have a backlog of songs that I want to learn it's what I like to do probably more than anything else um, and it's just fun to put on music and just dance and let go and just don't worry about anything and just move just let yourself go it's like I used to bake. That was my creative thing when, in my 20s here. And people would buy my cakes for the, uh, for the wedding and things like that. And, but once people started buying my cakes and my pies, then it, then it wasn't fun anymore. If it was a bigger city, maybe the majority of the people would have never saw it or you'd never hear the feedback on how they enjoyed it or how it affected them so I think it's more rewarding being a part of this small community that has supported us and let us do what we love to do. I do art with children constantly. I have a whole chest of art supplies in case kids come over. So um, my influences are kids. So I need the fire and the colors and the brilliance of my palettes to spark my imagination. And for me, that's also a meditation. When I look out and it's white upon white upon white, I usually go in and start painting. Um, so much of my music and so much of uh, Aboriginal culture is nature-based, and I really needed to be in a place that fed me that kind of uh, muse and I found that Jasper was um, a community that I had already worked in that had already accepted me even though I didn't live here and um, and that embraced me once I got here and so it just seemed to be a really good move it still is a really good move it's one that I'm really enjoying for me those um, those pieces come to me as uh, as threads these teachings from the natural world for me, often just really take take form after long, long periods of just simply witnessing and paying attention, and um, and then those threads kind of start to take form. Well, I think as human beings, we need to be creative. We need to create, and I think when that's taken away, um, we lose a lot of ourselves and a lot of the soul of the community. And I think being in a community that um, not only supports art, but uh, promotes art, and it, it really helps to motivate you to carry on. Because sometimes art can be very difficult, it can be a lot of hard work, and you need the support uh, there. And I think this community is, is very supportive of the arts. We have a lot of strong um, art-minded people that are helping, really helping to move things forward. I think we've come a lot way, and I'm really happy to be doing my art in Jasper. I think it's a beautiful way to connect with the other people, especially that the being in Jasper, so many people comes and goes. And um, I think it's uh, quite a number of the people feel that they um, can be that they feel lonely being away from the home and all. So I think it's uh, one way of the uh, communicating uh, throughout the something that you enjoy um, certainly, um, yeah, helps each other. And it, uh, I think that's something that it's it's very beautiful. I do want to say that I lived here for a very long time and I was always very sort of sad that I wasn't part of the artist community even though I was an artist and nobody knew you know and I was like how do I do that and it seemed really difficult to overcome that gap for a long time and I don't know why but I just felt like I wasn't one of them you know and now all of a sudden I feel like ah oh, oh my gosh I'm, I'm, I'm a Jasper artist, you know? Um, and that makes me feel really proud. We're, we're here and happy here and love it here and just want to do something nice for people that live here. I'd love to see it grow. I can't wait to see when the habitat gets in the new space, what's going to happen there. It's going to be a lot different and a lot better and a lot of people will be downtown a lot more and seeing it. So all the things that it's been working so hard to do will finally get to be seen in so much more uh, of a light in town. And I think that will be a very big thing. Um, and the way that it's paired with 
the library, the way that we should value it just as much. Knowledge and art are two things that our society would not be able to function without. So putting those two on an equal footing is a really good thing. You're a sculptor, you're sculpting the air, you're moving molecules in the air, and, and you're decorating time. I think it's part of the human condition. I think everybody's hardwired for music. There are some things that, you know, language can't say that music and art say. We need that. So art reminds me that I can't do anything. People coming together not only to share stories but to share a big part of who they are. If people work together, if uh, when there's a cr lot of cross-pollination, if people are not competing with each other but instead trying to help each other, something grows, something beautiful grows. And I would, I would say that's the art scene in Jasper. It's beautiful. We have such a wide range, not just in theater but in music, in drawn art, paintings, pottery. Everything has so many facets to it that everybody can take something away from it. I find that it uh, teaches me lessons on stage and in life because it's all about sharing energy with your partners on stage and I love that aspect of it. Um, that the engagement that you have with your team uh, while you're performing as well as the engagement that you get with the audience.